Punch-down blocks have been a part of the telecommunications industry for decades. It's the preferred method for creating a quick, gas-tight connection to telecom uh, equipment. In the network world, punch-down connections are mostly used for connecting network cable to RJ45 jacks, uh, both for wall outlets and in patch panels. This video shows how to connect a solid conductor uh, Cat5e cable to a Belden uh, MDVO uh, punch down Cat5e jack and the jack is shown here to the right. There's only two uh, components to the jack, a, a body and a little separator for the wire here. So we're going to give some examples of the punch down block in use. You can see on the right hand side here we have various CAT5e um, connectors. It can be a CAT5, 5e, CAT6, uh, and the punch down block is shown uh, on the back here. We've also got here a patch panel uh, that you can see, and the punch down blocks are in the back here, and the RJ45 jack here. Now these types of connectors generally go into a wall plate so they provide a network outlet here. In the picture here what you're show showing is uh, basically a connection, a punch down connection which is uh, just finishing being made. This is a punch down tool and we'll look at punch down tools in a second and you can see the wires are inserted into this plastic punch down block and there's metal in here in which they basically make a gas tight seal to. Now as part of this process uh, you have to have punch down tools. Now there are several different punch down block standards. Each requires a unique punch down tool. In networking uh, two of the most common tools are called a BIC standard and a 110 standard and we've got both tools shown here. Now this is a close-up of each of the tool and each tool has different diameters. The 110 is a smaller thinner tool. The Bix is a little larger. Both actually have cutters uh, on these tools. Most tools do have a cutter so they can not only punch down the wire into the plastic block but they'll cut off any excess wire and the cutter is on this end in the 110. Very important you know which end the cutter is on because if you go to punch down uh, and you do it improperly you'll end up cutting off the connection. Uh, the cutter here on the Bix is on the outside. It doesn't protrude but what happens is when this punch da punches down a little um, knife edge sort of slides here and cuts off this end of the wire. So we're going to look at the basic process. We're just going to overview it here before we look at it in a video. And so what we're using here is a Belden. It's called an MDVO. They're modular um, category 5E jacks. Uh, they have two pieces that you can see here. Uh, this one uses a punch down type. There are other ones which don't require punch down tools. I find the punch down is probably the easiest to use and maybe a little more expensive. It's I think a little more reliable to make. This uses the 110 punch down block standard so we'll need a 110 punch down tool. And briefly in step one you have a plastic separator here and the first part of this process is to strip your cable, um, cut it appropriately and to have the proper uh, wires inserted in this order so it's orange, green, uh, brown and blue. What you'll notice is on the um, jack itself is actually an A and a B. Remember we talked about the T568 a and the B standard, and we don't use the B standard, and the color codes are there. Now the color codes work this way. Uh, you'll see a solid square or you'll see a triangle. So that means that on this side 
The solid square means a blue wire goes there. The triangle means it's a white with a blue stripe. So those two wires are on that side. The brown square would mean the brown wire would go on this side and the brown stripe next to it. So you can see in the next uh, image here, um, all those colors are properly placed inside uh, inside the uh, uh, the jack here. So this tool, this little plastic separator, snaps down into here, and uh, we'll show in the video how we use the uh, punch down tool to uh, finish the connection. So we'll bring up our video. And this is showing the tools that we're going to use to make our connection and the wire. So I've placed the separator into that connection. And one of the things that you'll notice here, and I will stop, is that on this plastic piece, uh, let's see if I can. On the plastic piece here, draw it as a square, there's a few notches right here. And you'll notice that has to be placed by the jacket. Okay, and it's jammed. What you'll notice here is it gets jammed uh, right up against the jacket as far as possible. Now the next step is to untwist the wires, and my wires are too long here, I've just done it a bit for il illustration, and then we need to place the wires, straighten them out, and place the wires in the proper um, in the proper alignment. So what I'll do here is untwist and straighten each wire, place them down, and then I'll cut those wires a little shorter before I uh, work at installing it inside the uh, connector. So here's the connector you push that brown plastic spacer down in and it will actually click in. You can, if you could hear sound, you'd hear a little snap there as it snaps in. And then what you need to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers. I have a pair of um, round pliers. They're a little, they make sure the wire's not damaged, but we're using the ends of the wires and these are going to be cut off anyway. And so what we're doing now is we're aligning these wires into the slots and we're just pulling them down slightly to get ready for the punch down. So we have eight wires, brown, then the white with brown. Ah, and you'll notice an error there. That should be the orange. So if you're paying attention that should be the orange wire. And the next one should be the white with orange. Shows that everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> now at the top here, we'll go on the way down, we'll go blue. There's a solid color is first, and then the white with blue and then the green and then the white with green. Now punching down simply requires, you'll notice the cutters on the outside, it actually says cut on this tool. If you turn that around you're actually cutting off your connection. When you place this into the block You actually punch down and you'll hear a very definite snap. So you punch all the way down. It's actually cutting those wires mostly off. They sort of uh, don't fully come off, but you can then trim them just with your fingers and they'll just pop off. So we turn it over. 
and do the same procedure with the other side. Punch down, down, and you'll find that once you get used to it, you can make these in probably less than a minute or two. So there's your completed cable. We're in the future, we're going to test that. You should not make sure that you test every uh, connection with a proper tester. If you wanted to install this in a wall plate, you need to get this, the proper type of wall plate for this type of MDVO connector. And if you have one, it just simply snaps in and then you install this in your electrical plate on your, in your gyp rock on, on your wall. So there's the fully installed RJ45 jack.